Right. So if you guys had one thing to tell men to do in dating, what would it be? Either one of you can go first, whichever one of you thinks it is. All right. To tell them one thing? Yeah. I feel like they need a couple points. I think that overall, I think that men need to really like assess the situation better going into like approaching women, how they're approaching women. Am I like the type of person like gauge from the conversation if I'm this type of person, like if you would even be compatible off rip. I think that that would save like a buttload of like everything. Also like I wouldn't like stop being so fragile as well. Like everybody's not gonna like you. Everybody's not gonna be what you're on and what you're about. And some people might like you and they might like wake up one day and realize that they don't like, but it's just a matter of not being as fragile because once that ego gets hurt, that's when all of, you feel me, these sentiments about how like men get disrespectful and stuff like that. So that would be my advice. Like stop being so fragile and then take everything personal. Like really step back, look at the situation and because they're so logical, be logical about it, you know? Because I think a lot of men like to say they're not emotional, but once y'all get rejected, it becomes strictly emotion and like crazy. So handle it. Y'all men point. need to handle it. It's a good point. It's a good point. We do get on get in on our um, man feelings. I will say that. That is absolutely true. Especially when you're used to winning, but basically, you know, even if you do, it's it's a situation where it becomes very foreign. Um, so yes, on to your point. I second that emotional thing. That how we're not emotional, but the moment something don't go right, y'all throwing remote controls and doing that. That that's an emotion, and y'all be y'all be ordained. Um, remote control. Okay. Listen, I've had exes where they're playing a video game and they <laughs> lost, and they threw a remote, and I was just like, that's an emotional response. But anyway. Yeah, that's, um, that's what I call sucker shit. When you when you get physical, that's straight up sucker shit, guys. I'm sorry to sorry to interrupt you, but yeah, no, no, that's where you get physical because when you when you're when you're physically doing something, you're no longer mentally doing something right. Because physical is the last response, the most primitive form of you know doing things. So remember that your your battles are fought up here. You're four and one up here. If you cannot bring it from here to here, then there's something wrong with you. Right. Um, I would say, though, stop getting your advice from men. That would be one thing, because I feel like a lot of men, and I'll say this way. One, if you're trying to get a perspective of a female, you're not going to get it by anybody but a female. So what you're doing right now is per makes perfect sense. You're having a conversation with females. I feel like a lot of men try to do things in order to oppress their male friends. And it's just like, who do you want to date? <laughs> Your friends or me? Like, it's just like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, and it happens even early, going into their thirties. I've seen it. It's just like men are trying to do something to big up and look amazing in front of their friends. And it's just like, if you want to impress your friends, go date your friend. Like you want somebody to be exactly like, I want somebody who played video games and did it. So don't go date your best friend. Clearly it ain't me. I mean, I'll play video games, but that's not the point. But it's just like... I mean, I'll play video games, but... But it's... it's Get your perspective from the people you want to impress, is what I'm saying. Getting mm -hmm. advice and trying to do things just to impress your friends doesn't make any sense. Secondly, though, heal from whatever mm -hmm. trauma you got. 100%. Even if Good you think point. you ain't got trauma, go to therapy. Doesn't matter. if you've ever been upset, go to tra go to therapy and talk. <laughs> if you've ever been upset to the point where, as an adult, it is still triggering you somehow, go to therapy and figure that out. No, got it, got it.